Hi, my name is Lynn Porter and I'd like to give you a brief introduction to the outline of our accreditation and certificates that we offer to HET learners and their families and their professionals through the HET Online Academy. Earlier this year, we had the opportunity to work with an organisation called ALSTAN and that stands for the Award Scheme Development Accreditation Network. And this opportunity meant a lot to ourselves in terms of getting young people to feel and enjoy and celebrate success as well as to the students themselves. So what exactly is Dan? Well, it's a charitable social enterprise with over 6,000 centres in the UK and overseas. It's an approved awarding organisation. This means they can give qualifications and these are registered with all kinds of watchdogs and regulatory bodies to ensure the standard of their qualifications meets the desired expectations. It also represents an award which is the formal GCSE equivalent. So this means that it's included in league tables as well. They were commended by the Tomlinson Report in 2004 for good practice. Their qualifications range from a basic entry level for students right the way through to university entrance. And this is actually recognised by UCAS, who are the body that regulate university admissions. And interestingly enough, ASDAN also offer an opportunity for certain centres to be able to offer customised certificates, certificated outcomes for young learners to help them get the rung on the ladder to success, to help them feel good and to celebrate what it's like to achieve. And from that rung on the ladder, they are then able to progress to more formal programs and certificates and qualifications. You're invited to become one of these centres and as it says in the previous slide there are only 50 of them worldwide. If you engage with the ASTAN vision and values and what they involve are the opportunities to encourage, engage and motivate learners, perhaps young people who never had success before within the educational system to promote active and experiential learning this is outside of the classroom so they actually learn things that they're interested in and are meaningful and relevant to raise the expectation of learners so that they know that they can achieve and enjoy the feeling of that success to reward a whole range of different learning styles and contexts not all young people succeed within formal classroom settings to use the assessment of their success to further their learning and to make sure that learning is relevant and transferable into society today. And don't forget, it's built on things that they enjoy doing. And also to promote the worth and value of all the as done qualifications. So the certificated outcome actually opens the door to many more opportunities for young people to succeed. So the 10-hour certificated outcome that we can accredit is based on the HET Learning Tree model. And what we can do is go into that in a little bit more detail in another um, film for you that's on this page to understand how we go about it. In order to do this, we had to submit all our aims and objectives and how we're going to do this to have done. And that led us to provide a very simple cover sheet for the projects that families do and also that learners do. So our projects are very unique in the fact that not only do young people have the opportunity to work in areas that interest them and that they enjoy experiencing, but it's also possible for them to work with their families and their families can be involved in that project and they too can get a certificate which so gives them the opportunity to progress to a more formal qualification. So the ASDAN customised accreditation can be awarded in three ways. One is through the existing HET therapeutic curricula, HET TLC, which is the interactive online learning and on our website you will find lots of opportunities and projects to be involved in that. Secondly, by creating customised projects, and this is based on the learning tree model, which is to say we explain in a separate film. And thirdly, to look at what young people have done in the past and to actually build a bridge 
into getting accomplishment and success and accessing a qualification structure. Learners are accredited with one credit for every 10 hours learning programme that they do. Parents and carers also get a certificate for guiding and sharing that learning experience with that young person and this can be tremendously helpful where sometimes behaviour breaks down some of the dynamics in the family and it actually starts to build those bonds and understanding again. Thirdly, the staff can also get certification for accompanying that young person through their learning journey. So this is known as CPD or Continuous Professional Development and as a series of credits that professionals can accumulate through the HEP programme with their learners and with the families in order to get a professional qualification at the end. Here's an example of some of the certificates which work for key stages 2, 3 and 4. So anything from 7 to 16 years old, because it's based on the learning tree model, each of the trees have a particular tree attached to them. Willow, for example, for our younger learners. These are young people who may have built resentment up around the learning experience in the past. Oak is the one for key stage three. And this is for young people who have had to endure perhaps aspects of the educational system that has made it hard and difficult and tired them so that they have no wish to carry on with the learning. Elm is to help our Key Stage 4, our 16-year-olds, to be able to really not be overwhelmed with what their prospects are, at going into vocational areas or going into further learning, and to give them the ability to be able to cope with the future life choices that they make at this stage. This is an example of the certificates that we offer for families. So any family member who's involved in working with these projects on completion can also get a customised certificate. That, of course, is the key to unlocking the door to progressing into other qualifications which can help with career prospects development. I've mentioned the Certificates for Professionals, something called CPD, and here's an example of the introductory approach. There are 14 of them to collect along the way, each stepping stone along the way, and in combination can work towards credits that can be exchanged for other professional qualifications, depending on the organisation that you approach with these. Once a young person has got a customised outcome certificate, they are then able to cherry pick other qualifications and other areas of interest. They may be different, they may be an extension of what they've done. These are called the Hours Done Short Courses. And in total, there's now more than 20 of these short courses available, ranging anything from personal finance to physical fitness. Sometimes they include up to 20 or even 30 or even 60 hours of activity which will represent more and extra credits that can go towards their qualification. So the Asdan Customised Accreditation and the short courses lead to a qualification. These qualifications include something called an AOP, an Award of Personal Effectiveness. And this is an in total 60 hour award and that can be made up of six 10 hour approaches or one 30 hour approach we even three 10-hour approaches, including six skill areas, which I'll come back to in a moment. And this is the equivalent to half a GCSE qualification. Alternatively, they can carry on building on that for something called a COP or a Certificate of Personal Effectiveness. And this is in total 120-hour awards again, built up in different ways, 12 10-hour awards or six 10-hour awards or even one 60-hour or any combination of those, including the skill areas. And this amounts to the equivalence of one GCSE. So how does that work? Well, in order to gain a CO qualification, the relevant number of credits need to be achieved alongside the six skills areas. These should be evident separately, but they can actually be integrated into the 10-hour customised accreditation or the short courses. And this is where you may need some help and guidance from our tutors in order to help you through this. To give you an idea of how that works, Level 1 COP is the equivalent of a GCSE Grade D to G. A Level 2 
is equivalent to a GCSE Grade A star to C. And a Level 3 plus 150 hours of further certification is the equivalent of an AS level. As I said, these go towards university entrance qualifications. I mentioned the six skills areas. Along with most of the projects, you'll find that students are given something called an ASDAN Plan, Do and Review Sheet. Those students who do not complete this are not able to receive the full CEOP qualification. If they do, they should evidence their six skill areas at level one or level two. And these include introduction to working with others, an introduction to improving their own learning and performance, an introduction to problem solving, planning and carrying out a piece of research, communication through discussion, planning and giving an oral presentation. All this comprises of evidence which will need to be assessed and moderated. COPE is accredited through a portfolio of evidence and all that evidence will be submitted to ourselves and assessed through one of our tutor teams and will be initially moderated, sorry, internally moderated by myself. When that process has taken place, they will then be submitted for external moderation. The details of how you can go about these are available from our website and the prices involved, the fees for the certification, are available on request. Of course, our programmes do not need to be turned into qualifications. They can just be enjoyed by young people and families. We like to be able to offer the alternative every opportunity to help our young people succeed. If you have any further questions, please contact me at lynn, that's L-I-N, at hitwebsite.com.